Graham Cohen, and this is my new puzzle, the Rhoda Tetra. Um, it's the way it moves. It's the first puzzle I've ever catted myself. The way it moves is there are these pieces in the cage, and there's a gap, and you can slide. You can slide the pieces through the middle, like so, into the empty spot. There, and then you can do another one. Like here, and I can move this one to the new empty spot, like that. It's not obvious what's going on here, but these are actually tetrahedra, which all meet at one point in the middle. And I did not glue this together. I hold it together with the rubber bands. So I can take it apart and show you. Um, like so. So you can see they all meet at one point in the middle, and they are individually these tetrahedra that are pillowed so that their edges meet at 90 degree angles. Now this puzzle does not move particularly well for a few reasons. Um, these holes are triangular and they really should be circular. The pieces can kind of wind up doing this in there. So if they were circular, that would be prevented. Um, also these edges, I uh, didn't round them at all and that's a real problem. And there's some empty space. You can kind of see there's a lot of empty space under the corners here and I really should have filled that with some material. So this is a first prototype. It's not completely successful, but you can uh, play with it if you want to. Uh, also, I was surprised I was able to get some kind of coloration here. This is nylon. I just used highlighters and the colors bled a little bit, but it did color. If this was used a bit, this color would wear off because it doesn't really sink in. Um, but this is the uh, Rhodotetra. Uh, it solves uh, like the Polo Shift and other similar puzzles. It's actually got the same critical sequence that you can use to solve the whole thing, although it's a little harder with this because there's more orientation of the pieces. But that's the Rhodotetra puzzle. It's my first prototype. I don't think I will be making another prototype anytime soon because even if I fixed all of the mechanical problems I just said with it, it would really need to be printed in plastic to work properly because when you finish doing a move, you kind of really have to put your finger in and push it in to get it in place and it needs a pretty slippery material for that to work. Uh, but that's it for the Rhodotetra puzzle.